ladies and gentlemen, good morning and uh, heartily welcome at the Alfa Romeo stand. Today we have many new items to discuss regarding the brand's present and the brand's future. But before discussing the product, I would like to take the advantage of this occasion to briefly describe the brand's market progress. In 2010, we repeated our 2009 sales, despite the fact that the Giulietta was only on the market for six months. And since August and December, we have constantly improved our performance compared to the same months of the previous year, growing from plus 2% in August up to plus 40% in December. And once again this year, we immediately started out backing market trends. With more than 12,200 registrations in January, we increased our sales volumes by around 40% compared to the same months a year ago, when sales were still supported by incentives and the backlog from 2009. Our share has significantly increased by 0.3% and is stable at around 1.1% right now in the Western European market. This positive trend runs across all markets, all major markets. Growing markets such as France and Germany, where we saw respective increases of 41% and 67%, as well as those markets in decline such as Italy, where Alfa Romeo recorded a plus 28%, the United Kingdom plus 52%, and Spain plus 72. Strengthened by these results and considering all the product innovation we have in store, we are confident, very confident, of reaching our sales goals set for 2011 of over 165 vehicles sold. The numbers I just mentioned are clearly connected to the most recently launched Alfa Romeos, the Alfa Romeo Giulietta and the Alfa Romeo Mito. The Giulietta is providing that it can communicate and that it is attractive to a broad and varied audience. The pure Alfista on the one hand side who looks to Alfa Romeo for state-of-the-art technology as well as top-class road holding and driving pleasure, as well as families, won over by the car's ability to offer an excellent response in daily use thanks to exceptional comfort and habitability in addition to the best safety features in its segment in the market. Launched two and a half years ago, the Mito has actually broadened the brand's boundaries, bringing us into new market segments where Alfa has never been before, and most importantly, bringing new customers into our showrooms, some younger than usually um, have been. On both of these cars, we are continuing a progress of improving and updating the range designed to involve and win over more new customers. On the Giulietta, after having launched the new T-liter JDTM 140 horsepower engines, today we introduce the Alpha TCT transmission on the 1.4 multi-air 170 horsepower engine. This allows us to offer an advanced response, especially to markets that prefer automatic transmissions, such as, for example, Japan, Australia, and obviously Switzerland. The Alpha TCT is an automatic dual dry clutch six-speed transmission that has all the advantages of a traditional torque converter, automatic yet overcomes those weak points of a robotic transmission. In fact, power loss during gear change is eliminated and paired with start and stop. The 1.4 multi-air 170 horses consumes and emits uh, more than 10% less than the manual transmission. And soon the Alpha TCT will also be available on the 2 liter JDT 170 horsepower diesel engine. But now let's move to the Alpha Mito. At the stand you can see the 2011 model year on sale on major European markets starting this spring. This model year is designed to satisfy the typical Mito customer's desire for sportiness as well as attract new customers more attentive to precision details and maximum driving comfort. These innovations regard the aesthetics as well as many technical aspects of the car. From the point of view of style, the new metallic colors for the body as well as new fabrics and interiors for the interior highlight 
the offers expansion in terms of greater elegance and prestige. In the quadrifolio Verde version has been made ever sportier to reveal the car's dynamic spirit. The same logic was also used in innovations under the hood. There we work on the car's design, proposing different solutions based on the customer's desired driving style. On versions with the aspirated engines, we modified the suspension settings in order to guarantee the best balance between comfort and handling. And on version with the high-performance engines, we inserted a variable response shock absorbers with a bypass valve, improving comfort during stress caused by rough spots on roads and maintaining a dynamic control and driving pressure always at the top of the class. And also available on the Quadrofolio Verde version of the Mito, the very innovative dynamic suspension system actively and continuously controls the electronic shock absorbers and perfectly interface with the car's alpha DNA dynamic control me mechanism, giving unparalleled drive, feel, and safety. The Mito and the Giulietta are showing their ability to speak to a broad public, a concrete foundation building a future that deserves a brand like Alfa Romeo. We are talking about the development plan for the brand that foresees major growth in sales, not only thanks to the Mito and to Giulietta, but as well due to the launch of new models beginning as soon as late 2012 that will help our brand to grow significantly in its traditional markets and penetrate new markets, for example, like the United States or China. Obviously, many of those products are in an already advanced state of development. But today I'm here to present another brand new part of our plan. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you, in its world premiere, the Alfa Romeo 4C concept. <laughs> back the brand's great tradition in the field of high-performance automobiles and gives brand values of Alfa Romeo in their purest expression. The 4C you see here is a mid-engine compact two-seater coupe only four meters long with a 2.4 meter wheelbase. This agile concept boasts supercar materials, technologies and solutions like the carbon chassis, rear wheel drive, and technologies borrowed from everyday Alfa Romeo models like the 1750 turbo petrol engine, the Alfa TCT transmission, and the Alfa DNA system. This concentration of technology interprets sportiness not as an exaggerated increase in horsepower, but as a fine balance between weight and power in keeping with the brand's history and the great alphas of the past. I would like to give you some numbers. The 4C will actually have a weight under 850 kilograms, power of over 200 horses, and a power to weight ratio of less than four kilos per uh, horsepower. Just to give you some ideas of performance, acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour will take less than five seconds. But the 4C concept is not just an exercise in style or technology. We are working to make serious production possible and foresee market sales as soon as late 2012. This 4C will be a global vehicle in every sense of the world 
and will bring us back into the markets, such as the US, for example, where we are not present today. Loaded with substantial content, this special car is a symbol for the future we desire for Alfa Romeo, a great Italian brand, forever capable of exciting the eyes and the heart of the public. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for your attention. I invite you to pay visit to the stand to see for yourself all the new innovations from Alfa Romeo. And if you don't mind, I would like to invite you to my colleagues from the Jeep, which are um, starting their press conference in exactly three minutes. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.